I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling because we're going to pull 13 or 14 random tiles and set up a mock Charleston with no jokers and practice decision making through the Charleston. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14 again. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, a flower, three, four, seven, nine in cracks, two, three, four, five, six, seven in bams, and a two, six in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play consecutive run. And I would gather four numbers in a range, either two, three, four, five, or three, or four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, we could do three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what we have for passing. For sure, we don't need the nine. Because we have such a big range in here, I would keep either the two or the six. So maybe the six, we already have a two in BAMs. So we need one more tile. We have a three, four here, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. So I think I would let the seven crack go. It's a little bit risky passing one suit, seven, nine, but I wanna keep that seven because we have a nice run in there. We could do five, six, seven, but we could also do two through six. We have a three, four here for potential mixed suits. I suppose we could make it better by passing two, seven, nine and still keep a seven in there, that's probably better. So let's do that. We got a flower and a north south. We have number tiles and consecutive tiles, which are much more flexible than wins. One thing that you could consider is like numbers with news. We have threes, fours and sixes. We didn't use a seven. We didn't use a two. So we could do consecutive run three, four, five, three, four, five, or four, five, six, or we could do like numbers with news. Now, because we only have two discards considering the potential for news, maybe we could let go of an offsuit. So considering what we have here, maybe the four, and then we could potentially let that go if we get a multiple for like numbers with news. Here we're halfway to a block of four. So it's, it's worth keeping to see what, what happens. So let's see what happens. We still have consecutive run in BAMs. So even though we gave up the two, we can still do consecutive run. 
we did get a multiple, and a two, which we gave up. So here we have our first multiple, six. I'd keep the six potential for news, news with like numbers. Here we have six, maybe keep the two around it for four, five, six, consecutive run with flowers, and then pass these three. We got another flower. So there is a five, num five flower hand with consecutive tiles. Our pair, our multiple is with the six. So maybe we could do pair, pung, kong, flowers, or like numbers with sixes and four flowers. Either way, we could still keep all this and let the three go. A six and another flower. I would focus on like numbers with sixes. And then let those go, leverage these. You know what else we could maybe do is a quint. But I would not pass those. I would not pass like numbers. Since we only have one joker and no big multiple here with the north south, I'd let that go pass those three. Like numbers with sixes would be the focus. Whoa, we got a pair of ones. So I would just break that up. Pass these three. We got another six and we do have five and seven. So I probably would pass these three in the optional cross. I don't think we'll get anything in here. I think we got all the sixes we could. So we have four discards in a hand. All we really need in here is another six for our maybe our pair and then build up the other six. I think this was a pretty good Charleston. Four discards after the Charleston. That's, I think, a good guideline for decent decision making. Th three is better. Three discards after the Charleston. Obviously, the fewer discards you have after the Charleston, the better the chance of you winning that game. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write, pull one in the comment section below with what you would have done. We have a joker, flower, west, pair of red, that's not a red dragon, that's a green dragon. Joker, flower, west, pair of green dragons. Four, six, seven in bams with a pair of sixes. One, three, four, six in cracks, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiples. Green, six. And then I would look at the tiles remaining and keep as many as I can to build up these multiples. So we could do consecutive run with dragons. We could maybe do like numbers with dragons. I don't think I would consider a quint because we'd have to throw away a pair. 
and I wouldn't pass one, three, four, and one suit. So I'd let the wind go, and then one and four. We picked up a seven. That's a multiple, six, seven dragon. So here we do have tiles we can pass. If we play the dragon hand, we would need a pair of fives, and that's a gap, can't use a joker there. Single pair, Pong Kong dragon. So I think I would keep the flower and let that six go. So instead of passing two, three, pass two, six. We got a four and a six. We do have two tiles to pass. So here we have four, six, seven, dragon, flower, four, six. I think because we have no two or eight, I would let the four go. Stick with this. One thing I was thinking is instead of green dragons, we could hold the red for consecutive run. Six, seven, dragon because we have a gap, and that gap with the five ban is a pair gap. So we kind of have to make a choice, or we could pass blind. Let's pass one blind. No keeper. So now we have to make a choice. So I would definitely continue the Charleston. We don't really know what hand we're playing yet, so I think I would keep going, and that means we have to let something go. Because we have a pair gap, I think I would let the four go and maybe break these up next. We got a flower, a six and a seven. We're going across. So let's say we pass the red, a six. I wouldn't pass a pair, and we have to pass. So I would let go of the seven. It's a little painful, but who knew, who knew that we would get everything we want? So let's pass these three. This is pretty risky, but we have no choice. We got a green dragon back, but really... For two numbers in a range here, six, seven, we need the offsuit dragons for that concealed hand. I would pass these three. No keepers. We got our seven back. So we have three discards and we have a gap hand, the conceal hand, but we have our pair, we've got our pungs, we just need dragons, red and white, and then we can use any number of jokers there. The other thing I would think about during picking and discarding would be obtaining a five or an eight, and then maybe give up on the concealed hand and focus on Kong hand in one suit, either five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. If you would have done something differently, write pull two and what you would have done with these tiles. We have a south, red, and green dragon. In cracks, we have one, four, six, seven. In dots, we have one, seven, eight, nine with a pair of ones. And then we have a one, three in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass?
If these were my tiles, I'd build around the ones. You might think, why not six, seven, eight, nine? There's five tiles there. But American Mahjong is a game of multiples, so I would start there. One, one. Maybe dragons, maybe even winds. We probably could keep the three because we might be able to do little odds. One, three, five. So I would let those go. Maybe four, six, seven. I want to break up the sevens. Maybe we could do four, seven, eight and hope for a better tile for these next set of tiles. Oh, we got a pair of sixes. Okay, so that kind of changes the game because here we have six, seven, nine, and we have the dragons to match the sixes. There's a west now. Seven, nine can go, maybe the three, two. We're between ones and sixes. The pair of one dots would require a white dragon if we were to play like numbers with dragons. So I think I would focus on the sixes because the dragons match. We got a keeper, a six. Here's a west. West, oh look at we've got a pung in there now. But the dragons correspond here. So I think I would focus on that and break this up. So here we have a challenge. I would not pass like numbers, so I would let the south and west go. And then break those out later. We're focused on sixes. Maybe consecutive run if we can pull in consecutive tiles around the sixes. Or maybe two, four, six, eight. That might work too. And here we have the west, seven, one, break up that pair, focus on sixes. We do have consecutive with the seven, but we've got two tiles with two, four. Let's see what happens. Two, eight. Now here we have to make a decision because we have like numbers. I would not pass like numbers. We have two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, no, eight, two, six, eight, sixes with like numbers, two, four, six, eight, two. I think I would let a two go and pass those. It's a little bit risky being one, two consecutive, but at least it's two different suits. Now we have fives, like numbers, fives four, five, six. That is much more flexible than two, four, six, eight. So I think what I would do is let the two go. We have no eight bam. I think I would let the two bam go and focus on four, five, six, or like numbers with sixes and dragons. Two, one. Okay, so I would let these go. This is a little bit risky. Four, four. We really have five, six, eight. Like numbers with sixes or five, six. Sixes. North can go. One can go. Maybe the eight even. We do have in here four, six, no two, no flowers. I was thinking about the fourth hand down under evens. So this is in a range of four numbers around the multiples, four, five, six. So I think I would keep that. I think what I would do here is 
pass these three. One nine discards. Oh, Joker bait. If you want to know more about Joker bait, look for videos in the video description below. So this was a challenge. We're going to be an underdog for this hand if we were to play it through. But we could play consecutive run, four, five, six. Don't pick a hand till you run out of discards, and we clearly have a lot of discards. Or we could play like numbers with sixes and dragons. There's no gaps there. But I would not bet on that because we have singles here. If we could build up the dragons, maybe. Otherwise, I would keep consecutive tiles because it's much more flexible. Focus on discarding there, gathering here, or building up the dragons for like numbers with sixes. If you would have done something differently there, write what you would have done for pull three in the comment section below. The Charleston is half the game, so if you can build your skills making decisions during the Charleston, you can optimize your potential to win, build around multiples or the predominant pattern, gather tiles to support the strength of the hand, and then mitigate the risk with your passing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.